Igbo Area TV on on the Igbo. The coalition of Northern Group CNG has won President Muhammad Buhari against making the mistake of releasing the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namdekano, uh, without allowing him to pay for his atrocities. At, uh, say atrocities, anyway, saying that they will hold him responsible for the blood of their people if he does that. Our uh, blood of their people, or if he, if he also called blood of their people, and them mad, kalunke hane kuifa. The coalition um, reminded Buhari that from 2017 to 2020, at the peak of IPOB's dangerous campaign, Kano instigated the killings of more than 1,213 northerners living in parts of Nigeria. Nebe and Kamil, while several millions worth of businesses, properties, valued assets belonging to northerners were destroyed. So, anyway, the group in a crowded press conference in Kano on Monday further warned that any attempt by President Buhari to accede to the demands to release without prosecuting and punishing Kano will inadvertently reduce Nigeria to a completely lawless state. Anyway, however, uh, the leaders of the coalition, Nastura Ashraf and Abdulaziz Suleiman, alleged that Buhari has shown to the north that their blood does not matter any longer, that the votes of the south and the families are his priorities. Okay, blood in the south or matakolu. Anyway, um, Namdekano is not the cause of your problem. Insecurity in Nigeria, the level it is today is because of the encroachment of the killer full and in case you don't know. The North does not want to tell themselves the truth. Eh? Mm. And in this year, war, not This is why there is a serious problem in your region. Because, uh, and this is it ref it's refusing to disappear, but rather it's heightening. Sincerely, those who does not know where the rain started beating them wouldn't know where it stopped. Anyway, for hatred has blood some people's sense of reasoning. Now, some of you will say ESN is a problem. Why did ESN come into play? The same reason why Amoteku came up. That is the same reason why we have ESN. Yeah, we don't want you to continue in the name of Bieti Allah, um, Fulani Headsman, rip our women in the East, destroy our farm. We have to start our own security outfit to cop the activities. And that is why ESN was formed. So I don't know what you people are saying. Anyway, I'm on 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 the model. Abga reacts to. Obiano and Soludo's plan defection to APC. Your progressive grand alliance, APGA, has denied the alleged plan of defection of Anambra State Governor Willie Obiano and the governor elect of the state, Professor Chukuma Soludo, to the All Progressive Congress, APC. Chinedo Biwe, the national coordinator of Abga Media Warriors uh, Forum, thrashed the rumors on Monday at a press briefing in Oka, Anambra State, as he described the claim in some quarters as absolutely false. Record that shortly after the Anambra State November 6 governorship poll, rumors started that Obiano and Soludo would join APC as one of the conditions given to them by powers that be nya Rock to allow a free and fair poll in the state. Report has it that before the election there was a threat of a declaration of state of emergency on the state by the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami, which was widely believed to have prompted Obiano to visit President Muhammad Buhari at Asurok. According to Obiwe, it's important to say it boldly that the battle Governor Obiano fought on November 6th was a battle for the survival of Abga, Nyak Abga Wedindo, as the only Igbo party in Nigeria, Party Dukahe Umeona Gwia, owing to the fact that he fought that battle with all his heart and God 
gave him victory with all his heart, with all the money. Akwe go tala ha jo su jilo begini ne akwe go kane mefu ene you know. Anyway, with this, he stated clearly that there was never a time Governor Biano promised anybody that if Soludo wins election, uh, both of them will join APC. He added that Governor Bionono showed a good relationship with President Buhari administration for the betterment of Ndia Nambra. Uh, the president respects the fact that Obiano is the leader of Abga and accords him that respect. Obiwe finally noted that President Buhari did not lobby Obiano to join APC because he knows very well that he will not accept to abandon Abga, a party that has evil interests at heart and defect to APC. Party Ojuku, Buhari, Angolongkwenu, Ejina, Keko Yesiko Obiano, Hapu Abga. Anyway, let's look at this further. I don't doubt that uh, people like Soludo will come to APC after winning elections in Anambra. I'm aware of what the ruling APC is capable of. Um, since the coming of this um, political party, uh, democracy in Nigeria further suffered. And it became a matter of Buhari's choice who, of who becomes the governor of any state. Hope you know why Obiano had to make a special plea to Buhari, the federal government, not to interfere with the last two Anambra gubernatorial elections. Because he understand the game. Look at what happened in Imo State, for example. That shows anybody who is in their choice from the federal becomes the governor of the state as it pleases them. If they fail to stop you during the election, then hey, chebi so during the you know use what the Supreme Court where has it actually email. So we are in the days of powerless electoral body trampled upon by the executive now. Now, eh, I neck wave is a ball. Executive Neji me um ten um give an up. So Ludo could be under pressure to switch party or have his victory reversed. <laughs> I wouldn't be so surprised if it comes, <laughs> but it is a very bad that a party would spend so much, invest their strength and energy and everything in a candidate and it wins and only to leave the party for another. Normally, the victory should be for the political party and a person who switches should be made to abdicate his position. But this country is not working. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Chinedo Biwe should not conclude, though, hey, anything is very possible. We are in a country with the worst democracy. Why is APC allegedly making plans to give Southeast the position of the party's national secretary? Hmm. Report reaching us this morning has it that uh, the ruling party in Nigeria, APC, yeah, party in Dembu, have started to make plans ahead of their national convention. A um, few weeks ago, the men opposition party in Nigeria and Kewobu, the men party, now the men opposition, Keta PDP, conducted their national convention and elected Iyoshia Ayu as the president, national chairman, okay, of the party. However, ahead of the national convention of APC, report shows that uh, APC allegedly wants to zone the position of the national secretary to South East region. Hmm. And this report generated a lot of misreaction from different people. Ebe manahe muhono, the cake has your chosen secretary, ebe he wangwai ho kwato. Anyway, nevertheless, Many people are curious to know why APC is allegedly making plans to give South East the position of the National Secretary. Could it be that APC plans to zone the position of National Secretary to the South East zone is to help increase the number of APC supporters in the South East region? Well, being that APC was recently defeated in Anambra State during the gubernatorial election, it means that APC will need to work hard in order to win the support of the residents of, in Anambra State and South East ahead of 2023 presidential election. Meanwhile, uh, some pointed that zoning of 
the position of National Secretary to the Southeast region will help to promote equity and fairness in APC. Uh, this is because different regions should be represented in the National Working Committee of the party. Well, till then, it's in Mukwogini, Banolokwani Fenge, who. APC is not tiring in the party's attempt to grab Southeast despite its very uh, massive rejection. Yeah, eh? Anyway, I'm not really against um, the party's move to win over an area. Where I hate it is forcing the party on people of the place, as in what happened in Imo State. You should allow the people to choose whom to follow by themselves. Eh? Happy Guatoroka Solonia Choleiso. Well, APC, continue your campaign. We are watching. Thanks for watching Ibo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.